Welcome to Fast Draw 101. I'm Howard Darby here in Cave Creek, Arizona, shooting at the WFPGA Arizona State Championships, shooting with some of the fastest shooters in the sport. So let's go find out what they can teach us about Fast Draw. Shooters on the line. Shooters, set. No two shooters have exactly the same draw, and the hand position that's perfect for one shooter can be impossible for another. You need to find out what works best for you. But with that in mind, hearing what works for some of the top shooters in the sport can hopefully give you something to think about when developing your own style. 348 on three, beat by a 339 on four. Shooters on the line, shooter, set. Two, 96 on one, beat down by two, 79 on two. Attempt for Marshall Cooper, taking second place. And your Arizona State Champion, Copperhead from Virginia. Nice shooting, guys. All right, so when I first started at side, thumb like this have my thumb out on the side but I was noticing when I was cocking the, the gun and getting it out I was getting to here and I'd twist it a little bit so I'd shoot low left so what I started to do is I just got straight back on it and you know that set even before the set command comes on I'm just there I don't move thumb positions here and I'm straight back Three hundred on three, beat out by two ninety one on four. So when I'm drawing, I like keeping all this in a straight line and keeping everything simple. I, I'm not a big fan of getting everything out and jerking it backwards because I start flailing. But to me, in a straight line, nice and short, pretty simple as that. So you have your thumb straight back. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a straight back guy, and I just drop it, slam the hammer back, and get after it. Hand position for me, uh, like I say with the Ruger New Vicero, I love the deep hammer. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my thumb deep into that V. I'm only using two fingers on the butt of my gun. I tend to lock my shoulder back to where I feel pressure in my lower back. And I feel that way when I come out, I'm already in a position to where I just have to drop my shoulder. That's it. In my draw, I've tried a number of ways. I've tried doing it straight back. I figured that might be the faster way to do it because you can come straight back. You get a good hold grip on the gun with your fingers around the backside, but you come straight back and that helps you come straight in line. I find I can't do that. I slip off to the side when I try and do a quick draw. So I'm coming sideways with my finger nicely into the V in the, in the trick, a hammer and that helps me get the gun back. I use the two fingers here, I have a bit of a grip on it. As I close my hand, it gets the full grip as I come out. And I found I've never had a problem with it being loose, too loose in my hands or losing the grip of the gun. It just comes as you, as you quickly close your hand on the gun. Hey now. 343 on three, just beating out the 346 on four. Now we got a gun fight. Tied up two to two. Uh, hand position is here. I put my finger right on the top of the holster. Up seems to be the best timing for me. Thumbs resting here. Pinky's on the back, and there's no real science that went into it. It's what I just developed over the years of shooting for over 25 years. It's just the hand position that that works out. No time one or two, we have a 309 on three. Just beating out the 311 on four. When I, uh, when I draw my gun, my hand position, I usually put my finger, my trigger finger, underneath my arm, the guard, the trigger guard. I lock it into there. I put the thumb, my draw is completely based on my thumb. 
I crank everything off that thumb. I, I use very little wrist, very little arm if I can. It's all thumb. The thumb does everything. To draw, pull back at the same time. I'm cocking. Everything's with the thumb. No time one or two, we have a 345 on three, beaten out by a 298 on four. Yeah, the hand position I use is just the thumb right on the top of the hammer, and then I pull straight back this way. I've tried this cross over the hammer before, but I have less control as I pull back, I have less control of the gun in this positioning. But straight back. Enough is the best for me. I'd like to thank all the shooters I was able to interview for this master series and hope it helps take you to the next level. Please click the links on this page to view the other videos in this series or the links at the end of this video to review all the Fast Draw 101 videos. Line is ready here, Kevin Grant. Shooters on the line. Shooter. Three hundred on three, he just edged out the three oh seven on four.